Hi, I'm Hannah Cruz at the Church Musician's Assistant. This video is about five pointers to help you register hymns successfully. I'll just get right into it. Number one, I recommend setting up a crescendo from the first piston you have to the very last one. That being said, I would also recommend saving one or two pistons if you have quite a few of them for a solo stop. That way you'll have a crescendo and you'll also maybe have a trumpet or an oboe or some other solo registration that you can use to solo out the soprano melody or tenor melody at will. Number two, determine your loudest piston first and after that you'll determine your softest piston. Then you can work between those and build the crescendo. You need to understand the limitations or to put it in a positive light, the possibilities of your instrument so that you can know, you know, what is the maximum volume? What is the absolute softest volume we could have here? And then that way you can find the perfect middle ground, the perfect mezzo forte. Number three, when choosing stops for your hymn registrations, please avoid flutes and only rarely use strings. You can use strings for soft registrations because they do have some bite to them. You can hear the attack clearly, but with flutes, they're very difficult to sing with. They blend too well with the voice. Number four, after you've found your softest registration, which probably has some strings in it, you're gonna start building your crescendo by adding um, diapasons. So uh, you'll start by adding eight foots and then some four foots and then two foots. After adding your principles, you can throw in a softer reed if you want. That's optional. You can skip straight to mixtures if you like. Beware of redundant mixtures though. If you add too many mixtures on top of each other, it can cause too much ping in the tone and quite a bit of muddiness. And then finally, you can add your heavier reeds, such as trumpets. And be cautious of 16-foot reeds because those can muddy the tone as well. Number five, always be listening for balance between the organ and the singing out in the congregation. So if you can, have somebody play chords on the organ on your registrations that you've chosen and go out into the sanctuary and listen and even sing a little bit and feel how it balances. You want there to be core to the tone at all times so that the congregation can clearly hear the melody. And with that in mind, you also want there to be some ping to the tone, some uh, cutting through so that the congregation is always able to hear the accompaniment at all times, even when you're playing softly. You can absolutely play soft and loud and everywhere in between with all kinds of colorations. Just remember to always support the congregation because they come first. Congregational singing is number one. These were just five broad pointers to help you get started with hymn registrations. I go into depth on all of these things and a lot more in my course called Creative Hymn Playing for Keyboardist at the Church Musician's Assistant. Um, I have a segment devoted to registrations with a 30-minute demonstration and a lot more advice. Also in that course, I cover everything from writing your own introductions to playing verses, soloing out melodies, creating desk cans and tenor melodies, coming up with interludes and modulations, reharmonizations. Plus, I just talk about philosophy of hymn playing and why it is so important for people to sing and important for the organist or the pianist or whoever is leading hymns to do it with creativity. So if you want to become a better hymn player, if you want to learn how to be more creative with your accompaniments, if you want to get your congregation to sing more robustly, if you want congregants to leave feeling invigorated and inspired, then I urge you to check out this course because I think it's going to give you the tools that you need to get all of that moving in your church. I'll put the link to that below this video. Thanks so much, and I hope these five pointers today have been helpful. Good luck with your future hymn playing.